Welcome back to the 10 Biggest Website Mistakes. Did you ever watch that amazing movie Field of Dreams with Kevin Costner? His message was, build it and they will come. A lot of people build a website and then operate from this principle. Sorry, it's not going to happen. How do potential customers find your website? The first way is that they already know about your business and key in the name of your business into the search engines. Hopefully they find your website and then check out what you have to offer. The problem is that most businesses today need a lot more customers than the people who already know about them. You want to be attracting customers who are looking for your product or services but have never heard of you. When potential customers are looking for a particular product or service, they are often in a buying mode. These are the people you want to attract. So can customers find your website by keying in a search term that matches a product or service you offer? For instance, if I was new in the area and wanted to find a hairdresser, if you owned a hairdressing salon in my area, would I find you on the first page of Google? Or if I needed to have a photo framed and I keyed in picture framer, would I find your business on the first page of Google? This brings me to another point. Do you even know what your customers are keying into Google to find your products and services? I'm not sure how many times we've had conversations with business owners who tell us they are at the top of the first page of Google. When we ask them for which keyword, they tell us the name of their business. Again, this is great for people who already know the name of your business. Besides, if you aren't number one for your business name, you have a serious problem. To attract people who don't know about your business but want to buy your product and services, you need to know what they are searching for and be above the fold in the search engines for that term. The other thing we find is that businesses tell us they are number one for a particular keyword and when we check they sure are but there are no searches for this term. You can go to Google Keyword Tool and enter your keyword and check the number of searches. I'm going to key in hairdresser, Gold Coast. Make sure that it's set up for Australia. Then over here on the left hand side, broad is ticked, but I always ticked exact. What exact means is that that's the number of people who exactly type in hairdresser Gold Coast rather than broad, which is the number of people who type in hairdresser or they might type in gold or they might type in coast. So it's a combination of that phrase or that search term. Deal with the capture. The first listing is the broad match and the second one with the little brackets is the exact match. So currently around the world there's 110 exact searches for that keyword. Because the Gold Coast is in Australia, the local monthly searches, which is the searches for Australia, are the same at 110. So that means there's 110 people being in that search term looking for a hairdresser on the Gold Coast. I'll add a link to Google Keyword Tool below the video so that you can go and check on your own search terms. Search engine optimization or SEO is a very complex process these days. We probably spend an hour a day each on keeping up with the changes and the most effective techniques. The average business owner can't spend this time, they have a business to run. Not only is the SEO for your website, but now we have the wonderful Google Plus Local. They used to be called Google Maps and then Google Places. Your business needs to make the most of this opportunity, but again, it's not just a matter of claiming your spot. It needs to be handled carefully and it also needs to be fully optimised. When I keyed in hairdresser Rubina, these are the Google Plus local listings. You can see that they're mainly right up the top. Getting your business ranked in this listing can get your business to the top of Google. You can see that there's seven places here and there's more results if you click through. These are the rest of the Google listings. But you absolutely want to be in this section here because very few people are going to click through to the more results. So you've got to be in the top seven. Google have a lot of rules around Google Plus Local. They're very protective of this space. If you get it wrong, not only will you not show in Google Plus Local, but they will also punish your website. You can also see we have a little Google Plus One. We have that on every page so that people can share our page and our information. So if you want to go down the SEO road yourself, here's a list of what you need to do to even stand a chance. Firstly, you need to SEO the structure of your website to make it Google friendly. You need to add meta descriptions to all of your pages. This is done in the back end of your website. 
You need to create meaningful and relevant content that is based on your keywords. You need to add images to your pages that add to the conversation. You need to add new quality and relevant content every two to four weeks that is based on a keyword. You can see on our site we have a blog and we're always adding content to that blog. You then need to broadcast this content throughout the web. You need to add links from pages on your website to other pages on your website. And you need to generate high quality backlinks. These are links from other websites to your website. Google sees this as your site having quality content. Of course, we can do it all for you while you get on with handling all of those new customers. Give us a ring or email us. We're more than happy to have a chat about how we can help you generate more leads and more customers. So that's it for today. We'll catch up again tomorrow.